Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm here to talk about piecing together code, code application and Helm charts into one repository. Um, I'm Omer, I'm a staff engineer at the Infra Group at SNCC where we practice platform as a product aiming to lower the cognitive load of our developers. I'm also a long time using Argo CD. Really amazing to see so many people in this room today. Um, but yeah, so I'm here to talk about one of the most common practices and documented as best practice of separating application code from uh, the Kubernetes configuration. Uh, because two years ago, we kind of broke it and combined them together into one repository. So our story really begins with two repositories. We follow the best practice. We create a repository for the application code and a repository for the Helm chart that, uh, that has the Kubernetes config. And we, did, we build a deployment pipeline, a very simple one. It's build an image, and it then changed the image tag to the version that was need to be deployed. And most of the time that was great, but in some use cases that increases the cognitive load significantly. And one of the best examples was when adding an environment variables. Because when adding an environment variables, the developers start with changing the code, introduce a code change that uses that environment variable. And that uh, will deploy with the simple deployment pipeline, but nothing happens in the application because that environment variable's not being called, nothing has changed. The developer need to remember, it's need to now git, git clone the, the Helm chart uh, repo. So he does that, git clone, he finds the right service in that monorepo of uh, the GitOps repo. He changed, he introduced a new change of the environment variables, he opened another PR, he gets another review, and then he's standing in the room and he's asking how I'm going to deploy that weird GitOps repo. I just clone it. I have nothing. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing a PR. He's standing there and asking for help, and it, then he's come to us. That cognitive load we don't want. We, I believe we can do a better developer experience for our developers. But best practices have a good reasons, and Argo CD is doing an amazing job in documenting that reasons. So we, we went after them, and first one is separation of access. In some organization, different people change the Helm chart from the people that write the code. That's not relevant for SNCC. At SNCC, uh, the, the application developer does everything. They own the whole application end to end. The second one uh, is sometimes you can modify only the manifest, and that can trigger a faster CI and CD, although that's true. We just saw having two different ways to deploy is not the best experience. Application can be built from different services, so this is still possible under a solution, but we found that it's not uh, the most use case in, uh, in SNCC. So in most applications in SNCC, the application is built from one repository. It can have different third parties, but only one place uh, with SNCC code. So rolling out those three, we're left with clean audit log and infinity CI CD loop in the case where you aim to uh, commit back the version to the same repo which, uh, with the application code and then you trigger another CI and then trigger another CI. So the question is, can we combine those two into one but have a clean audit log and without infinity CI CD loop? And we found that the answer is yes, we just need to find a different place to commit the version. We still want a version, we still want it to be inside Git. So finally, our solution uh, was to use the App of Apps repository. So we already have that, we already had an Apps of Apps repository with the application CRD inside of it. This is what creates all the application inside the cluster. And we added the version of the application to the values. So every service now has a version for the pre-pro, the staging cluster to the production cluster. It can be different in the deployment system, but eventually it will be the same. And now the application CRD uh, template, the Helm chart can use that version. So we can see it's going to find the right version per the cluster and we'll inject that is Helm parameter to the Helm template. So the application can use that 
uh, image tag um, value inside their versions, inside their helm chart, sorry. And combining this together, we now have only one deployment uh, pipeline because everything is inside the same repository, both the helm chart of the application and the application code. We have only one deployment. It will always build a Docker image. It will always uh, change the right version, once for pre-prod, once for prod. And it will actually do two things. So it will sync the app of apps, the application CRD itself. It will uh, set the right application uh, image tag parameter. And then it will go and sync the application itself. So that solved that problem, but we also got one amazing benefit from that. We now also have a version for the Helm chart. So, we not on, so we are not, we're not tracking main anymore for the Helm template, and we don't need to set different branches for different, uh, for different uh, environments. We don't need to set different values or find different weird ways to deploy that GitOps repository. Uh, we can use the same version and have the Helm chart in the same version of the, as the application code. And uh, with that, uh, we achieved, we reduced the cognitive load of the developers. We allowed them to work on only one repository, with one deployment pipeline, and with one version of the Helm chart. Uh, so thank you, and uh, see you later. <laughs> <laughs>